Andrew, we've got some breaking news on Regeneron right now. I want to get back over to Meg Terrell. She's got the details on that. Meg. Hey, Becky. So we know that Regeneron has this antibody drug that's on the market for COVID for people who are recently diagnosed. Well, just like Lily, they were also testing this antibody um, in prevention. So of people who live with somebody who's been diagnosed with COVID, and they are just releasing these prevention results right now on their antibody cocktail, this combination of two. And they say that in this analysis of 400 people in this trial, they were able to prevent 100% of symptomatic infections, so prevent everybody from getting the disease. Uh, in people who live with somebody with COVID, um, and were able to cut down by asymptomatic infection or transmission, really, by half. Now, the numbers on the disease part are pretty small. Only eight people in the placebo group um, got sick. Uh, zero in the drug group got sick out of 223 on placebo and 186 on the drug group. Um, overall, you know, positive data. And, you know, the way they see this potentially being used is it's essentially like a, a, a vaccination, except the um, the protection is given immediately with these antibodies. So you could go in somewhere where there's an outbreak, immediately sort of draw a ring around contacts of somebody with the disease uh, and try to stop the transmission that way. So we'll have to see, guys, how the Biden administration is looking at using these drugs. Signals from the CDC director and others on the team suggest they think that they're just too hard uh, to administer. But Regeneron saying here... The cocktail may be able to break a chain by providing immediate passive immunity to those at high risk of infection, in contrast to vaccines, which take weeks to provide protection. And guys, we are just also seeing some new news from Eli Lilly this morning on a cocktail of two antibodies that it has for COVID. Remember, it just has a single antibody that's authorized now, uh, this providing more data in the treatment setting for a cocktail of these antibodies for COVID. So a flood of news. We'll have to see how you know, the Biden administration really thinks about using these as the Trump administration purchased millions of doses, but we've seen them be really hard to administer. Andrew? Uh, Regeneron, Meg, the, the tricky part with that is it, it needs to be administered um, uh, by, by an, uh, infusion, and, and that's always tricky, trying to find out where you're going to get somebody who gets to do those things. Um, same story with Lilly. What about its antiviral? Yes. Actually, Becky, I'm so glad you mentioned that. So for the treatment setting, these are both IV infused drugs. So you have to go somewhere and get the infusion, although they are looking at trying to figure out home infusion. In this Regeneron trial, this is such an important point that you, you mentioned, it was given as a subcutaneous injection, so a shot. So you don't have to sit in an infusion center for hours you know, to get this done. So that is different. They were able to figure out how to give this as a shot. It's still not a pill or a nasal spray, which would be a lot easier, but it is easier than an, an IV infusion. Uh, that, that's a big deal, especially if you don't have to go into a hospital and sit there for an extended period of time, potentially exposing yourself to COVID on an even greater level than you might be at home. Um, Meg, thank you. Take a look at that stock. It's up by about 1.1%. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.